If you've always looked at Mag as a starter Warframe that's quite useless, I'll tell you what, I'm going to show you something that's going to change your mind, and it starts now. All my diamonds shine, cause they really damn. What is up everybody, I'm Acoustic Ability, thank you for stopping by. If you are into Warframe and car related videos, make sure you hit that sub button. Also, make sure you stay to the end after the build, I got a question that could be answered by you, another Warframe player. So let's get to this video. Now Mag, in my opinion, is one of the best starter frames, because without any kind of mods, you can actually take and regenerate things with her, and that is always a plus when you first start out. Now, with a couple tricks, tweaks, and mods, you can actually take and make her pretty much unstoppable if you know how to play her, and that's what we're going to cover right now, is actually how to play Mag from a veteran standpoint. And when I say veteran, I'm talking about veteran mindset. I'm not talking about your mastery rank, because I've seen people come into the game with a veteran attitude that they got in other games that allows them to be able to stand alone and stand well with others. On the other end of that spectrum, I've also seen a lot of people with very high mastery ranks that can't throw down and can't hold their own because they either bought their way through the game or they allowed other people to level up their weapons and frames for them. So for those of you that already use Mag and are comfortable with the gameplay and just here for my build notes, this is where you can skip to the end and find out what I'm using uh, and see how it compares with you. With the ability to regenerate shields and create overshields for allies and herself alike, Mag is a force to be reckoned with. Camping is definitely Mag's strong suit, making sure that you only pop out when you need to get ammunition and make sure that you have life support if you're playing survival like I am here. So the first tip to camping is to make sure that you seal yourself off using magnetism. Back yourself out of the bubble because if anyone shoots projectiles into that bubble, they will take and continue to go around and shred you as you can see that little blue light flying around in there which could actually harm my mag. Damage is dealt out by this ability two ways. One is by the absorbed projectiles that are flying around in the center and two is DPS by anything that's absorbed, okay? The damage is translated into ticks. So in essence, the more damage you pump into the bubble, the more it's going to put out per second to anyone that is trapped inside other than you, of course. So with a little punch through and some high DPS weapons themselves, you can actually take and make a nice little swirl of saw blades flying around in the center there that'll actually be fun to watch for a while. But you really don't have to do a lot of work. You just put up the bubble, sit back, and wait for everyone to die inside of it. And the higher level you get, the more damage you have to put into the bubble. And that's it. As long as you're sealed off in a room or sealed off so that they can only come from you in one direction, nothing is going to reach you. And then when the bubble finally collapses, you have that beautiful explosion at the end, which, pro tip, even with a nullifier hitting you, you still get that explosion at the end will detonate everyone around him. So that's all right. I like it. Now the amount of damage absorbed and the multiplier are affected by strength. So this is where the actual gameplay preference differs. You can either take and go for duration and range, or you can go for range and strength. One way or another, you're going to have to figure out the pros and the cons on your own, and that's going to be depending on you, but i got a build for both of them coming up at the end of the video. Now, you'll notice that this method is so simple that you really don't have to do much except for pump ammunition into the bubble. But remember, while you're doing that, make sure you take and buff yourself by using your number four or crush, depending on what platform you're using. Alright, let's talk builds. I got two builds that I like to use. One is going to be using more of the ability to power the multiplier, and the other one is going to be more of a duration thing. Now, duration build is a little bit more about making your weapon do all the damage and all the work, rather than having your abilities multiply the work. So this build really is about finding the perfect balance for your playstyle between duration, range, and efficiency. Now the only mod that really stands out in this configuration is going to be Equilibrium. Why the hell am I using it? Well, because the duration of this allows me to cave myself off inside of stuff, I can actually go out and get a little bit of health back when I do get damaged here and there, which isn't very much because I'm usually buffed pretty good with the overshield. Feel free to pause it and compare your mods to my mods, and hit me up in the comments below if you have any questions on why I'm actually using these mods in specific. So let's get on to the next one. 
Now, the biggest difference to this variation of the build is going to be that it's your perfect idea and compromise between duration, efficiency, and strength. Because the last one, we left the strength drop out and just based it off of the weapons. This time, we're letting the ability actually help out. I know what you're saying, but your strength is only 110%. Well, I'll tell you what, in the last build, if you didn't notice, it was 55%, so that's a huge gain in this build for me. So, like I said before, it comes down to your play style and how you want to do things. I'm just here to provide the idea. But once again, as I said in the last build, feel free to pause this, snoop around, compare the mods to your mods, and hit me up down below if you have any questions on why I'm doing what I'm doing. Now, if you found this information build and tips helpful, make sure you give me a thumbs up and hit me down in the comments below and let me know how I'm doing for you as a Warframe player. Now, on to the question. So as a veteran Warframe player, I've seen Mag change quite a bit. What do you guys feel about her mod, Overshield, being changed? Do you think that that made a huge difference, that they added the ability to crush? Or do you think that it was nice to just have that ability? Alright, as I always say, make sure you give back to those who give to you and hit that subscribe button and support small creators as I try to make my way to a thousand. And I hope to see you all next time in the grind.